I think you're probably the person in here that's has has had the most real experience of an attack. An attack was made on your life. An attempt was made to silence not only you, but what you stand for. Would you ever even consider speaking to the people that did that to you? Um, actually, I think it was like a few years ago. Um, there was um, like a court trial or something happening, and uh, or, you know, some colleagues did organize a call for me with, uh, with the attackers. I do not remember the incident. I do not remember their faces or anything. So when I was looking on screen, there were like, you know, two men that they were showing me. And, and they were like, you know, pretty young as well. And, uh, you know, they were apologizing and uh, saying that, you know, they were being told by somebody to do this and they got received orders from this person and that person received order from that person. And all I had was sympathy. All I had was empathy because, you know, you wonder like, what are the reasons that lead to these actions? So you, you know, you know that whatever like hatred you have against this person, it's not going to solve any of the problems um, because there is an ideology there, there is a system in there that is, that will, you know, that will create more terrorists. So, um, like from my side, I said like, I forgive you, I, I, I don't have anything to say with this, but you know, they had, all, they had also attacked other people as well. So like, um, you know, the case was sort of much bigger than that. And uh, two of my friends, Kainat and Shazia, they were also uh, shot as well. And uh, so everybody has different feelings. And I know that I am in a completely different position because I have a platform, I can speak, so I understand the privileges. And uh, I feel like I'm in a place where I can feel that I can fight back and I can take my revenge by educating girls. That's the best way I can fight back. Manala, I've never actually heard you speak about uh, the incident, certainly not about um, ooh, meeting with the people that, that did that. And you met that moment with grace, with patience, with understanding. And it seems to me that that gave you the fire to, to pursue, as you say, revenge. I, I want to know from you, was that a difficult moment? How do you reconcile looking into the faces of the people that, did they feel sorry for? I mean, you know, I have to be very honest, like they, they were pretty young. They were like, I don't know, in their late teens or like early twenties. So, you know, you wonder like what could have happened? You know, you don't, you can't really ask them that many questions. They were like, yeah, somebody told me to do it. And I, I didn't know you. They showed me a picture and said, this is a girl and she's against Islam. Go and shoot her. And they're like, we did our job. And somebody told us that this was a, this was a great um, rewarding task for Islam. It's the narrative that is wrong. People are, people are divided. People are told to hate others because they look different, because their faith is different. It's that ideology that we need to challenge. Like, look at us here. We are a room full of people from different backgrounds, from different nationalities, uh, you know, men, women, boys, girls sitting here together. We're not harming each other, you know, we're not scaring each other. We're not gonna like, uh, you know, invade each other's uh, area. So I think it, it sends a message that, yes, we can coexist. There can be a, a society where, you know, we can live together. We can know what it means to be just, it, you know, what it means to be fair. It's, you know, I'm sure there are some lawyers here as well, so they might have an opinion on this, but I think, you know, we as individuals, we, we can use reason, we can, we can have good emotions and powerful emotions that can really guide us in, in creating a better society. Like, um, so, anyway. Oh, Malala, I'm, I'm sorry to bring it up. It's, I, I no, no, I, I literally don't mind uh, because, as, and as I mentioned, like, I, I really am grateful for everything that I have and, uh, and to be able to be in this position that I can uh, advocate for girls around the world.